In this Tyrannus video, we're going to carry on from the first four videos that we've done in the series so far. So in the first video, we upgraded the firmware. The second video, we created our first basic model. The third video, we then set up additional custom channels for that model so that we could control things like multicopters. And then the fourth video, we used things like the OpenTX Companion, which we'll use on the screen, and also talked about curves and how you use those in the radio as well. This one's going to be around setting up dual rates and exponential. Now, dual rates and exponential aren't something that I'm going to explain what they do in this video. I already have two videos that are on the channel that do that. We have one that talks about what exponential is, and we have another one that talks about what dual rates do. So if you don't understand what either of those are, you can watch these two videos here and understand, hopefully, completely. I'll put a link to each of these videos in the description in case you want to go and watch them. But in this video it's going to be about how you actually set them up and assign them to switches so that you can change things like dual rates as you are flying. So we're going to use our OpenTX companion again. So I start OpenTX, we'll set up a simple model, we'll then change just one of the channels for example purposes using this interface, and then we'll jump onto the radio itself and show you how to do the same thing through the buttons on the front of the radio. The reason I'll do it both ways is that not everybody is using this OpenTX version of the firmware. Once you upgrade to OpenTX like we did in the first video, you get access to things like the OpenTX companion and things like the wizards which make things easy to set up, but some people aren't running that and that's why we'll do it both ways. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just create a new model. I'll double click and go through the wizard. We'll set up a simple plane. We'll call the model test, which isn't very imaginative, but it'll work. We'll take the defaults. It has an engine. It's a standard wing. Nice thing about this is that it does allow you to select flying wing or delta wing and it'll set up the Elevon mixes for you. We'll actually do a video on how that's done manually later in the series, but uh, for those of you that are interested, you can get it from here. We'll say it has ailerons and we'll also say it doesn't have flaps, it doesn't have air brakes, standard rudder and elevator. Okay. I do like the wizard on a, this version of OpenTX, the way it actually asks you through these additional things. I think this is pretty basic essential stuff. Right, there's our new model. So if we open the new model, here's the standard inputs and mixes for the outputs that we've seen a couple of times already on the channel. So we have the rudder on channel one, elevator on channel two, throttle on channel three, aileron on channel four, and those are pushed straight across into the channels on the receiver. So what we're going to do though is we're going to change how much weight is being put from the control into the system. Now by default you'll notice that all of these at the moment are 100%. Now we're going to set it up so that we can have a dual rate. Now normally you'll put dual rates onto some of the controls so you have an aileron, elevator and potentially a bit of rudder as well. We're going to put it on elevator for demonstration purposes. So what I'm going to do is right click and duplicate elevator and we're going to double click on the second one here and what we're going to do is rather than have a hundred percent for the second dual rate value we'll just have 60. That will mean that we'll have less throw in this position. So we're going to assign it to a switch as well. We'll pop it on switch B so what we'll do is we'll put that in the middle position. There we go. And the danger when you first start mixing with a Tyrannus is that when you're looking at this, you think, okay, well in that case, I will have a 100% throw unless the switch is in this position. When the switch is in this position, then I'll get my 60% reduced rate. However, it doesn't actually work like that. Because this top line doesn't have any associated conditions with it, it's always in effect. So even when you put switch B into that middle position, you're not going to get that activity. So what we need to do is also change the top line so that the other position of the switch does the same thing. So we'll put it on switch B again. We'll put it at the back position now for that. There we go. So that would give us dual throws. If I click on simulate, here's our elevator 
and we get 100% throws. You can see it on channel 2 here down at the bottom. There we go, 100% at the top, 100% at the bottom. If I put switch B in the middle, now I get 60% at the top and 60% at the bottom. So switch B is controlling how far the control surface is or how much control I'm giving. Now the other thing we can do as well is we can also add exponential to these as well. So I'm going to change the curve to exponential and I'm going to give it a nice healthy exponential of 25 on both. And that should deaden the stick around the middle position which should make it easier to fly. So now what you should see is that as I move the stick around the middle position I get less movement but as I move it out to the edge it speeds up. Okay, so that's how we set it up here in the interface. So now we have a dual rate on elevator, we could set that up for aileron and rudder as well and we've also set up some exponential. Positive exponential on the Tyrannus makes the stick less sensitive around the middle, negative exponential makes it more sensitive around the middle. Now we've done that, let's jump onto the Tyrannus radio itself and do that through the interface so that you've seen both ways. So we'll create a new model on the radio very quickly so that we can do the same thing we've just done in OpenTX. So I'm going to select one of the model areas that I haven't got anything in, press and hold enter, say create model. We're going to select the plane, we're going to hit enter, we're just going to accept all of the defaults. And there we have our new model 04. So we'll select that model and then we'll run through the setups. So here are our four channels. Interestingly you can see that the order is slightly different if you go through the wizard on the radio versus the software but I'm sure that'll change as time goes by. Uh, we're going to play with the elevator again. Now we're going to create a copy so we're going to press enter once when we've got elevator highlighted and then we're going to press and hold enter and we're going to say copy. We'll move the cursor down once and we'll hit enter. And there we've actually copied the line. So we're going to edit the second line. At the moment you can see that one of the elevators is bold. That means that that's the one that's in action right now and the other one isn't. So let's change the second one first. We'll hit enter, press and hold it, then select edit. And here we'll go down and we'll change the weight. And again, we'll reduce it to 60, which is what we had before in the demo. And again, we'll change the expo curve to be something like 25. The nice thing about this is you get the little graphic that's actually showing you what's happening on the channel. And again, if you watch my exponential video, it'll actually make sense. It tells you what the graph is trying to illustrate. So I'm going to increase expo to 25%. Yeah. Now nothing's changed on the display and that's because we haven't assigned it to the switch. So we're going to go down here and select the switch we want it on. Now because it's flashing again we can either go up and down and select the switch position that we're interested in or we can just flick the one that we're interested in the radio. I'm going to pop it on switch B like we did. So I'm going to say when switch B is that position we get 60%. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to exit out of that, exit again. Now, as you can see here on the radio, despite the fact that I'm actually flicking that switch at the top of the radio, the main 100% is always selected. And that's because, as we said before, it isn't assigned to a switch. It's a global thing that's always in effect. So let's make that dependent on the switch. So we will edit. We'll go down here. We'll keep the weight at 100%. We will change the expo to 25 and because this is the one that's active you'll see it's changing on the screen and then we'll go down and we'll also assign it to the switch. This time we'll assign it to the switch in the middle position. Okay there we go. So if we exit out now 
I'll just move the cursor out of the way, you can see as I click the switch, it actually selects between those two elevator weights. So we, we have either 60% rates or we have 100% rates. And if we actually now select one of the channels and say edit, as I move the switch around, you can actually see what it's doing. So there's our 100% rates, where it's giving us full travel on the radio. So it goes right the way from 100 to 100 in the corners. And there is the 60% rate, where it's still got an expo curve, but it's only giving us just over half the same outputs. So that's the way to test it. Or if you're not sure, you can always exit out again, go back to the model screen, press page until you get the channel monitor, and then we can move elevator, which is channel three. There's my 60% rate. And if I keep the elevator where it is in the down position and then flick my switch, there's my 100% rates. So 100 to minus 100, 60 to 60. So that's how you set it up through the radio interface. So hopefully that helps those of you that are interested in dual rates and expos. It's a very standard feature that you'd set up on a traditional radio, and now we know how to set it up on our Tyrannus. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and happy flying.